Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and this is going to be a brief little reaction video to the somewhat amazing Dark Knight Rises third trailer. Uh, I just got done watching this, and I had goosebumps by the end. I mean, the music, the pulse-pounding nature of it. Uh, you know, we do get glimpses of Bane, Catwoman, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's cop character, John Blake, more than we've seen in previous trailers of his character. Um, you know, I mean, we've only seen really brief snips of him. Uh, as well as some more, you know, spoken lines of dialogue from both Bane and Catwoman, which was excellent. Um, of course, uh, Bane being Tom Hardy, Catwoman, Anne Hathaway. And, um, you know, I think we also actually get hints of the overall story themes in this trailer. Uh, you know, it's been really speculated, but I think what this hints at is that, you know, Batman slash Bruce Wayne, he seems to be beaten and sent away by Bane. Now, I could be wrong on that, but it definitely does carry that. I'm wondering if that has to do anything with this supposed five-year gap that Christopher Nolan has, you know, said would happen with this film between this one and The Dark Knight. Um, I'm wondering if all of those scenes are like prologue to the actual film, because there is some time that Batman does seem to have gone away, um, and John Blake's character is talking to a kid in the trailer about will he come back maybe we don't know uh we do see very briefly jim gordon and we hear some words from uh you know alfred basically saying i don't want to have to bury another member of the wayne family that type of thing and so what it really has me wondering though is it seems like Bane rises to power in Batman's absence, and we see a lot of destruction. He's blowing up bridges. He, he blew up a football stadium. And I'm really wondering, is this strictly down to Bane, or could could it be Marianne Cotillard's, you know, purported character that isn't supposed to be Talia al Ghul? Uh, maybe she's calling the shots. I really don't know, but... What's definitely certain is this trailer just kicks so much ass and is pulse pounding, pulse stopping. Um, and one of my personal favorite shots is like the two, three seconds that you actually see, you know, Anne Hathaway's Catwoman high flying kicks, just kicking so much ass. And uh, of course, we see Bane with, you know, Batman's broken cowl in hand. So this looks like it's going to be the epic final chapter that it promises to be. And, um, you know, if you haven't seen this trailer, go find it. Um, I'll link it below on uh, the Warner Brothers channel on YouTube. So, uh, but anyway, that's my reaction to it. It looks spectacular. And uh, otherwise, that'll be it for me. So I'll catch you later. Peace.